Porto Bianchi Panoramica. I think that's the correct title for it, but I don't know really. I'm winging this because I don't honestly know. Um, I'll be perfectly truthful. Guys of my sort of age group don't really know too much about them. Some guys do, obviously. There's one or two specialists out there, uh, but I don't know too much about it. They were they were regarded as a little bit of a fun car, to be perfectly honest with you, really. Uh, you know, I don't know what this is. Is it late 60s, is it? Something like that? 60, yeah, so 60s. on that line, is it? You know I mean? We had Mark one Escorts, didn't we? You know, I mean, a bit weird, really, isn't it, to be perfectly frank with you? But uh, <laughs> they were popular in their own country, I suppose, in Italy, weren't they? And, and popular throughout, popular throughout Europe, I think, to be fair, but they never quite crossed that channel. You know, they, there's certain cars out there, certain models that never did cross the channel. Um, and these, I mean, even VW struggled to cross the channel, but because they did eventually. Um, but these never did, really. Um, but because one of the biggest problems, as far as the British buying public was concerned, was that. You know, that should have a big, dirty, not smelly thing in there called an engine, not, not round the other way. So um, that, was a, that put everyone back up for a start off, to be honest. So I think the poor old Fiat dealers, um, as good as they were, lovely guys, they had a hell of a job moving these on, you know. But this is a lovely example, isn't it? I mean, there's, there's, it's beautiful condition, isn't it? Really, really, I've had a nice paint job at some stage. Wants a bit of cleaning and detailing now, as you can see. Cleaning beats, basically. Tonsing, as we call it. Detailing, new word. Um, so, yeah, really, this is a, it's a little, it's a immaculate little thing. Got flaps on there, white wall flaps. I personally think they look better without them, but it's each to his own, if they're on there. Um, interior is lovely, absolutely lovely, really, really nice. Uh, looks like original rubber mats on there and such like. Real plain dashboard. Everything's real plain, isn't it? It's very light and plain, you know, mm. light feeling gear sticks. You, you could almost wrench the gear sticks off if you, you know, you're a bit rough with it and what have you. A nice thin steering wheel, which I like. Um, rubber mats, as I say, no carpets. Um, a sort of bit of a bit of a utilicon motor, I think. That's what we used to call them, a utilicon. They're like a mini estate car, and, um, uh, and they're, they're ideal for, for a little workhorse, I suppose, aren't they? Little cheap, cheap, cheap little workhorse. It's just that um, we uh, we don't understand them, you see. That's the problem. But I mean, these are what Austin 1100, 1300 backlights and that. So basically, Farina. I would imagine the thing would be Farina design, and um, hence them. I would imagine. Be, stand to be corrected, but I bet I'm not far wrong, which is why they're on there. Uh, but isn't it useful? Little tailgate and such like. Yeah. Perfect little car for a, a little shop, a little grocer's or something like that, you know, taking stuff around the you know, around the street, delivering stuff, orders and that sort of thing. Absolutely bang on for it. You know, I can't imagine it being a marathon motor. She's going to be like 45, 55, isn't she? Maybe downwind. Uh, hmm. But at the end of the day, it's the condition you're buying. It's, the, it's, it's not... It's not the concept of the car. That's all done, finished, gone, or forgotten about. It's the condition of the car we're, we're, we're selling now. This is a good idea, of course. Um, uh, so, and the condition is superb. So my advice is, is if you're into one of these, which you probably guessed I'm quite, not really, but if you are, come along and have a look, because I'll tell you what, it's a cracking looking little car. Nice door shuts, uh, shut lines are all good, aren't they? And, uh, don't look at that, I've put a rock. In fact, it feels, feels quite nice and solid. In here, it looks really, really good. This, as I say, wants to clean a <laughs> little wheel. Uh, um, so, yeah, what more can I say? A lovely, lovely example of that particular model. Um, and you see it now, waiting for you to come and have a look. And have a deal, 12 volt, isn't she? Yeah. Uh, and I think you'll be very, very pleased. It's got the original stickers, the um, license and stuff on there. Look. Uh, which I, again I don't understand very much but it's there um, might benefit take them flaps off I personally would take them flaps off and with a view to possibly putting a set of chrome wheel trims on mm. off nicely, you know. but it's lovely it's lovely so you know the fact that it's not my cup of tea is totally irrelevant the condition is superb come along and have a look you'll be very pleased